So please give it up at Night Denver. Thank you for coming out, by the way. This is Amanda Gold. Hello. This is my dad. He is kind, generous, funny, smart. He has so much integrity, and he's taught me so much about how to be a good person. This is my dad, and he's a great dad, but I didn't always appreciate him when I was younger. My parents got divorced when I was five. I was raised in an abusive household, and I was away from my dad. We didn't get to see him very much. I was scared, angry, lonely. I actually became suicidally depressed at a very early age. I was so confused. There was a point even when I thought I hated my dad. I thought he didn't love me, and I just wanted to be with him, but I just didn't know what was going on. Um, it, everything just kind of sucked. <laughs> But yeah, so this is me. This is what happens with that, right? <laughs> That's me passed out at a bar. Um, I was 15, I went to live with him and I found drugs and alcohol and everything fell apart. I ran away from home. He was terrified, but I was too damaged to care. For 16 years, I was on the streets in abusive relationships. I lived a wretched existence. And the whole time my dad tried to warn me about the hardships that I was heading for, but I wasn't a good listener then. I was very defensive, I was full of rage, and just profoundly unhappy. Nothing really got through, although he did continue to try. Sometimes he had to distance himself, but he always came back. So it wasn't until I got sober, until I could finally hear that he had been with me the whole time and he had tried the whole time. Today I'm over three years sober and loving it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it kicks ass. <laughs> So my dad has always guided me and he's always tried to help me. And what I think is amazing is how much he really taught me even when it seemed that I was completely oblivious. This is what I heard when I wasn't listening. Wait for it. <laughs> Once I stole a library book. He taught me to be honest, even if it hurts. I stole that library book and he helped me return it. And when we did, he slipped a $20 bill in the pages. I thought it was so ridiculously wasteful at the time, but now I appreciate it on a bigger level. He always is willing to apologize, and he will have those difficult conversations that most people run from, because he knows they forge deeper bonds. And I admire that strength and humility that it takes to do that. He taught me that my brain is like a bucking bronco, and that I, instead of being whipped and trampled by my negative thinking, by fear, by depression, that I can grab those reins, take control of my own mental health, shift my mindset, and make my brain work for me. <laughs> he's a great traveler, he's adventurous, and I have watched him my whole life use discipline and hard work mixed with a healthy dose of risk to set huge goals and achieve them. And he's always inspired me to strive for more growth and excellence in my life. He's taught me critical thought, he's taught me how to express myself. And when I would get so frustrated that I couldn't say exactly what I wanted to say, he said, don't worry, you're doing just fine and your words do have value. He's silly and fun, and he's really great at giving gifts. And he's taught me to think of other people and remember them and remember their special moments because being able to brighten someone else's day is a really big deal. He taught me how to be good at it. So the list of things that my awesome dad has taught me could just go on and on. I only have five minutes. So I'm here because I know he worried a lot. I know he wondered if he was doing enough, if he did the right thing. I know he carried a lot of guilt for things that were not his fault. And I was very hard to love for many years, and I am still a work in progress. But I know that my dad, he kept me alive. He sustained me, his love sustained me, and a lot got through when he thought nothing was. And so I wanna offer some encouragement for anyone out there who is going through a similar struggle. Think of someone you love, someone who's depressed, maybe homeless, struggling with something that you don't understand and that you feel powerless to help with. Do not give up on them, please. <laughs> Whatever you do, believe that your kindness matters, your patience, your presence, your persistence. They do see it and it does matter. I know that it hurts to watch someone live a way that's harmful, but don't give up. Believe that from the bottom of your heart, love them with all your might, even if they can't love you back, because no one is beyond hope. I am standing here as proof of that. Dad. 
I love you so much. Thank you. I am standing here. I'm not done. I am standing here because of my dad. And thank you. <laughs> now I'm done. <laughs> Um, I would just like to share a little postscript to this story. Uh, when I decided to submit a spark, my dad, he moved to Australia a while back. And the stars kind of aligned and he actually is here today. He's flying home tomorrow, but he's here. And I'd love to just, I love you. <laughs> Happy Father's Day early. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.